Hey there, it's Kathy with Be Created with Kathy. And um, I have a really cute project for you today. It's some stuff that I've been working on for my craft fair. But first I wanna just go through some of Stampin' Up's promotion. And I lost my flyer, I mismaced my flyer that talks about the starter kit has mark, been marked down from $99 to $75. I've talked about that before. So um, th it's the same $125 worth of your choice of products. And it's all part of the starter kit for $75, which includes free shipping. It's a really good deal. If you have questions about that, be sure and let me know. And then we've talked before about the early release of the Eden's Garden. The early release products are the stamp set and the dies. And then they've also included some designer series paper, cotton paper, and gems. Now the designer series paper, cotton paper, and gems are not early release. They are just exclusive piece or exclusive products they're including in this bundle that you can get until the catalog goes live or until they run out. Because these two items will be in the mini catalog in January, the new one. So that's that special. Now I've talked about all of that before, but another special they're having, and this is a big one, that on, well, November 16th through the 18th, they're having what they call a seasonal sale. And the cool thing is, is cardstock, ink pads, and dies are all on this sale. Look, it's like seven pages worth of product. In fact, I think I counted, and the ink pad, it's all four of our collections are on the ink pad. So every ink pad that's in our color collections are um, marked down. So that's a pretty good deal. That's like I said, the 16th through the 18th. So be sure and take advantage of that. And then last, and of course not least, is the new paper pumpkin. And lately I have been just awful about sharing my paper pumpkin project. So the paper pumpkin product for, or kit for November has what they say nine cards you can make nine cards and i think it has like two step stamping and it did talk about customized characters and die cut snacks so i think you're going to be able to stamp little faces i don't know it's all a surprise when it gets here but it looks like a really fun set so if you're interested in paper pumpkin be sure you sign up before december 10th and then of course they ship out on the 15th of that month so today's project, and it made me th think about that, is um, reminded me of November's, no, I'm sorry, October's paper pumpkin. I gotta slow down, because I'm way ahead of myself. So I thought I'd show you real quick before I get my project to my project today. Let me show you what I did with my paper pumpkin. Because I haven't been sharing online my alternatives, but I have been doing my paper pumpkin kits. So first of all, let me explain what paper pumpkin is. It's a paper crafting kit that comes to your door every month. It's a surprise. Um, October's was cards. They look like this. Let me show you what they look like real. So you can make it look like this. And the other one looked like, where is it? Right here. Look like this. And they have the coordinating envelopes. Look how cute those are. Even the inside was decorated. This was a really pretty, I think, paper pumpkin kit. But you'll notice with this one, because the card bases, in the kits look like this. Whoops, no, that's an envelope. What a mess am I today, huh? And, um, oh, hey, I found my my flyer about the, the starter. <laughs> anyway, the, look, they look like this. The card bases look like this. And now I couldn't bring myself to fold this in half. I had to cut this down to five and a fourth by four, which would make two. And then I just added some basic gray and made two cards out of that one. Now, if you did that with all your card bases, because they would give, they give you also these little die cut pieces like this to make the cards, you get the Noel. You wouldn't have enough to do twice as many cards, but it would be just as easy. Let me try to find all this stuff to show you. Here's all the little pieces and parts that come with it too, and the ribbon. Now I think the, or the twine, I think you'd have enough to cut enough bows to double your cards, but these other little pieces, you could just take a punch, for example, the everyday punch. No, I can't remember what this one's called, but this looks exactly like that. Because I'm getting ahead of myself. Your card, the extra card, would look like this right and you could just punch out 
a punch to give it another one of these. You could sacrifice one of your envelopes to use this for the extra circles that you would need here, or you could just use a shaded spruce circle on there. A cherry cobbler banner would be easy to come across. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is you could come up with twice as many cards if you cut your card bases in half and do something like that. Let me show you some other things that I did. Well, no, first let me show you what you get in a paper pumpkin kit. So like I showed you, you get all the card bases, the die cuts, the pieces like that. You get an ink spot in every kit. You get a stamp set. And where did my stamp set go? This is what the stamp set looked like this for this kit. You get your adhesive, so you get um, dimensionals and glue dots. And then usually you get some bling and some ribbon or some twine or something like that. So it's a really fun kit, has all the pieces, makes great cards or sometimes projects. But let me show you some of my alternate projects. So again, I took the card base, right? This time I put it on some shaded spruce and then I took my blends and I colored those trees. Now, instead of the green circle, I used a vellum circle. That way you can see more of the trees that I colored. And I did use that Noel, the silver Noel for that card. But I thought that was really pretty. I saw another demonstrator how she colored the trees and look how pretty that is. And I believe that's old olive ink. Another card, well, here's two more that I did. Look like this. Now, if you wanna see how to make this card, on May 11th in 2020, I did a card like this. So you can go to my YouTube channel and find um, a video of how to do it. And then on my blog, there'll be all the measurements and everything. And my blog is becreatewithkathy.com, but shows you how to make a card of this style like that. And this one, look, I put a piece on the back and that's where you'd write your, your greeting using those stamps that come with the stamp set. Okay, so paper pumpkin, is I think worthy of a try. I absolutely love paper pumpkin and it's just fun stamping that comes in a box. So enough of that nonsense. Let me show you what we're gonna make today. So like I said, I've been getting ready for my craft fair and I wanted to do a little bit of framed art and look how pretty that cabin fits in this cute little frame. So now this is just a frame, I believe I got it at Walmart and I believe it was like 99 cents for this inexpensive, cute little frame. It's a four by six, that's what I used. But I think you could cut your paper and almost any size would use, or any size would work. Okay, so I'm gonna take my designer series paper. Now this is that Peaceful Place designer series paper. And I'm gonna use this pattern here. Now I love these trees down here, but for my frame, I'm gonna use four inches out of the top here. So I'm going to go ahead and trim off whoops, four inches, like I said, off of the top, because my frame is four by six. This I'll use for cards. And then I'm going to just trim this in half at six. And really, I could do two of them but I'll save this one, you don't have to watch. I'll just do one today. So I'm all set there, right? And then I wanna put, see how I took the stamp set and stamp, whoops, out of the camera, there we go. A couple little trees, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use some basic gray ink. And I'm gonna ink up these trees. Now I'll tell you what, when you put your paper into your frame, you're gonna lose like a fourth of an inch border on there. So I'm gonna stamp the top of my trees in this corner about a fourth of an inch from each side. Let me make sure I inked it up good because I don't wanna mess up my designer series paper. But I'm gonna take this and stamp it about, I don't know, let's say there. I'm gonna hold that in, let the ink sink in. And then look, just that subtle, little trees there I think is really pretty. Let me get a scratch piece of paper here and I'm gonna lay my paper on there because then I'm gonna ink up just these two trees over here and I'm gonna stamp two more trees here off to the side, a little bit lower, maybe straight across and stamp a couple more trees on there. 
So then look how pretty now my trees are. Very subtle, but nice on their, with the, the snow line or the sparkles or whatever that stuff is called. Okay, then I have a piece here. Now this is shimmer white, and I just wanted to give it a little pop, a little wow. And I'm going to stamp this cabin. And now if you notice my cabin, there we go, has a little bit of brown tint to it, but it's still that gray. So I'm going to use the granite gray. Now to me, it's a brownie gray, which I don't even know if that's the right way to say it, but I like the way the cabin had just a touch of brown on my gray and white card, or frame piece, this thing. So up here at the top, close to the edge over here, I'm going to stamp and I believe that this piece is six by three inches, but we're gonna cut it down to fit in the frame. So um, I know it has to be at least six inches, but like I said, you're gonna lose some of, the, some of the width here. And then with that little fence, I'm gonna come in here with that and I'm gonna stamp that right there. And now since I got pretty close over here, he might disappear. Well, I think he'll be fine. We'll see what happens when I cut it down to size to fit into my frame. Okay, then I'm going to bring in, and did I even show you? I'll show you the stamp set later, but I'm gonna bring in this Perfectly Pad, this Merry Christmas right here. And now this stamp's been around a while. You can see how mine are all stained because I absolutely love this stamp set. But I'm gonna bring in that Merry Christmas with a little bit of red ink and now since this is photopolymer i'm going to bring in my pierce mat or my stamp pad like right here and then ink that up good i'm going to practice once down here on my paper yep looks pretty good so i'm going to stamp my merry christmas and i think i'm going to stamp him right about there hopefully he's straight there we go Okay, and then now we need to do some die cutting. So before I do the die cutting, here's what I'll remember to show you the stamp set. So the Peaceful Cabin stamp set looks like this. It has like those beautiful trees, the cabin, the fence, the cute little fox, some bling, some clouds, and then some great words. And then the die set looks like this. Now my die set is a mess. I like to put mine together. It's kind of like a two-step die set. So I have my trees put together and I hold them together with the press and seal, but we're gonna use this cabin and the outline right here. So let me show you. I'm gonna set them on my plates here for my die cut machine. I have platform number one, plate number two, and then plate number three. And then I'm gonna lay my paper on there. And then I'm gonna lay my outline and then this piece does the extra die cutting. Oh, and we don't need that one. What am I thinking? We're gonna just do the outline and cut my cabin out. I'm gonna bring in some washi tape so I can hold it where I want it. Let's make sure I got it straight on there and just where I want it. I'm gonna try to put my washi tape so that it's on the outside of my frame and doesn't get my paper that's on the inside, just in case that washi tape messes up my paper when it comes out. Okay, and then on a scrap of basic gray, and I think they're both gonna fit on there, I'm gonna cut out these trees here. So we just need one. Two, three of my little trees. Okay, clear things out. Bring in the machine. I might have to put some washi tape on my little trees. Put the cutting pad right here on top. Nope, it should be just fine. And then, as I say, it's fine, it falls off. Put that little tree back on there. And then we'll run that through my die cut machine.
Okay, now we have all of our pieces cut. We have our three little trees. away. Now you'll notice that my die is not long enough for my piece of paper, but all I'm going to do is take a pair of paper snips here and trim so it just looks like it's continued onto the edge of my paper so it looks like that. Okay, so now if you measure, where did my frame go? Here we go. I don't know if all the frames are exactly the same, but I want to measure the inside of the frame here and it looks like it's five and one eighth so I'm gonna cut my paper down so that it's five and one eighth and now I like this side here this is where I have the extra side so I'm going to just take this flip it over put it at five and one eighth and then just trim that off. So now it looks like that. Ta -da. Okay, let's put our project together here. I'm gonna take the back off of my frame. That's the little hanger piece there. And I'm taking the glass and everything out, and then I'm gonna put my paper in there. Make sure that I have it the right way so I know this is the bottom. Not that it matters yet, but it'll matter in a minute. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to throw this piece away, but I'm going to put the glass, I have to tuck it in there, right? Put my glass back in there and the back of my frame. And now I said this was the bottom here, right? Yep. So I have my frame back in there the right way. And now it would just sit like this on the counter. And I'm going to take these and I'm gonna cover it with dimensionals. Let me find a, well, I'm gonna cover it, I guess, with the edge of my dimensionals, cause uh, guess what I don't have here at my video desk. But I'm gonna cover the back pretty well with dimensionals. Put some down here, and maybe one more right here. And this one right here, okay. Because then this piece is just gonna sit and look, I cut it totally wrong. Oh my gosh, it's so wrong. I would have to start over, have to recut my paper. I thought I cut it at five and a four. You know what, it's five and a half and an eighth. So I should have cut it at five and five eighths and then it would have fit perfect in there. But I'm gonna go ahead and pretend like it's cut right. Then I would take glue dots I'm gonna have to recut this paper and I don't have one here on video. <laughs> so embarrassing. But then I would put my trees down here. There we go, I'm gonna have to recut this one piece here. And then I would add some little rhinestone bling here up in the, you can see the little rhinestone in there. And then I would have this cute little frame with that designer series paper. All right, so what a mess. I'm going to go back and cut my paper and restamp it and fix it for my other frame. But I hope you'll try framing some of your um, beautiful designer series paper with the stamp set. They do turn out really pretty when you don't mess them up. <laughs> All right, have a good day and I'll see you back here on Monday. Bye-bye.